Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and today's video is on this fall glam. I used new affordable products in this video and decided to give you my thoughts on those as well. If you want to hear those and see how I got this look, just keep watching. Using the ColourPop Midnight Masquerade eyeshadow palette, I'm going in with Pip as the transition shade. I'm bringing that pretty far into the inner corner towards the nose bridge because we're going to build up on that later for a darker moody look. Next I'm using the shade Nutmeg from the same palette to create more dimension. Remember to bring that up towards the nose bridge too. I'm going to switch brushes to diffuse the shadow and then move on to eyeliner. Using the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Gel Pencil Liner in Bold Brown, I'm creating the base shape of the wing. I recently started using this as my everyday eyeliner and it's so good, it's super creamy and lasts really long. I was really surprised that I hadn't heard about it sooner, but it's definitely a new drugstore favorite for me. Next, I'm sharpening the wing with a brown eyeliner from ColourPop and Micellar Water. Going back to the Midnight Masquerade palette, I'm using the shade Gaston to smoke out the wing. I'm going to take a mixture of Mama Odie and Spinning Wheel to brighten the center of the eyelids. Moving on to the face, I'm starting with the Neutrogena Prep and Correct Tone Correcting Primer. It has a brightening effect to even dark spots and discoloration, so that's why my face is getting so white, but it gets better after foundation and has actually become one of my favorite primers to even skin tone. I would recommend using it like a color corrector though, since the brightening effect can be really hard to cover up, especially if you're only planning on wearing concealer. Next, I'm applying the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup in Nude 40. This is my perfect shade match and it looked fine in real life, but I think the mixture of primer, SPF, and my bright lights made it look lighter. This foundation reminds me a lot of the L'Oreal True Match. Both have really great coverage and are super affordable. I'm setting everything with the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Press Powder. This one has a tint to it, so it provides extra coverage. If you have dark circles like me, this really helps cover them up. This is the Folk Allure Sculpt Glow Palette in Maui Nights and Opal. The Maui Nights shade is the perfect cool toned contour shade and it blends so well. It's only $11, whereas the Kevin Aquan one, as much as I love it, is $44, which is pretty hard to justify for such a tiny contour palette. I still really love both, but if you've been waiting for a dupe for the Kevin Aquan one, I definitely check out Folk Allure. Going back to the Midnight Masquerade palette, I'm going to use the shade Enchanted all over my cheeks as blush. I'm focusing that in the center of my cheeks right underneath my eyes as well as my nose. With the Focalore Sculpt Glow Highlighter shade in Opal, I'm going to highlight my nose and brow bone. Next, I'm going to curl my lashes and apply mascara. This was my first time using the ColourPop BFF mascara and I was kind of disappointed. It's too heavy for Asian lashes, so although it has a great lengthening effect, it flattens out the curl, which you can see here. For lashes, I couldn't find a drugstore pair that I felt fit perfectly with this look, so I just went with what I know and love, Velour Lashes. If you guys have any drugstore or affordable lash recommendations, please let me know so I can try them out. Next, it's time to smoke out the lower lash line using the same eyeshadows we use on the eyelids. You can also take this time to increase the intensity of the eyeshadows anywhere you see fit. I wanted this to be a really moody, dark look, so I'm focusing a lot on the inner brow section. 
I do like to use heavier mascaras on the lower lashes because they don't really need to hold a curl, so I did not switch mascaras and I really like how it turned out. My lower lashes look super long. I think if you have naturally curled upper lashes or lash extensions, this mascara is for you, but I personally wouldn't buy it just for my lower lashes. I'm lining my outer waterline with a Maybelline gel pencil liner. Moving on to lips, I'm using my favorite lip pencil of all time, the NYX Slim Lip Pencil. This is in the shade Natural. For lipstick, I'm using CoverGirl's Full Spectrum Lipstick in Undone, which is a really pretty deep nude shade. Finally, I'm creating faux beauty marks with a brown ColourPop eyeliner. And this is the completed look. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you liked me, remember to follow me on all of my social media, which will be linked in the description box down below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!